Hi guys! So, I went to Goodwill yesterday and I got 11 books. 11! So, let's get started on my book haul. So the first book I got, I already have, but I got it in hardback. and something else. Hardback. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And it's in perfect condition. I mean, see without the dust jacket. Wait. Just wait, 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 wait. Well, but that there's like nothing wrong with it. Except there's like a little bit of wear right there. Wait, right there. Can you see it? Yeah, see the faded part? A little bit of wear. But other than that, it is perfect. <coughs> so it feels so good to have a hardback copy. So if you guys don't know this, I love Harry Potter and I got to read it for the first time when I was thirteen. And I want to get them in hardback. And this is the first hardback copy I have. I have all of them in paperback, but I really want them in hardback. So, hoping I can keep going to Goodwill and maybe keep finding more. I don't know. I probably won't pay for them new. Um, I also really want to get the new um, box set that when the spines line up, it makes Hogwarts. The new covers. They look amazing, but they're only in paperback, but I still want them. So, yeah, I I'm, want three collections of Harry Potter. The original paperback, original hardback, and the new covers in paperback. I'm a book hoarder. <laughs> Next, I got The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis movie cover. That was a mouthful. So, I got the movie cover, and it's also partially illustrated got some illustrations in it. Well, I guess, I don't know if that's the very illustrations or not, but it has regular illustrations in it. I think. Yeah. Regular illustrations. So, I really, I already have a copy of this too, but it's in a huge bind up. And I wanted it in a smaller, little, mass marketed novel so I can carry it around and it won't be as bulky and hard as getting my huge, like this thick, bind-up. So, I also got the original cover of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, because I love The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the, the Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia, I love it. Even though I've not read this one, which I'm going to read, but out of this, I wanted the original cover. See, I'm already reading in it. Mm, whatever. Next, I got a really kid's novel. I got um, Disney Fairies, Fiora, and the Full Moon, and I finished reading this the day I got it. It's a really middle grade novel. But it's over the 100 page limit, so it counts, and I'm only reading this one because I can't read the other ones, and I don't have them. So, but still, I got it. I love Disney, so I wanted to get one. Uh, the next two novels I have never seen before in my life, I got My Fair Godmother. And I just, I saw the cover. It's a girl with pink hair in a fairy outfit. Why not? So when I read the back, it sounds pretty cool. So hopefully I'll read this. Then I got Forbidden Seas by uh, Sheila A. Nielsen. Oh, and this is by Janet Rallison. Rallison. Uh -oh. Um, and this is about mermaids. And if anybody knows me, they know I'm obsessed with mermaids, and I've been looking for a mermaid novel. So, here we go. I hope it's good. I think it's a standalone, but I need to look it up on Goodreads. Next, I got The Dark Hills Divide. And I've seen this novel before, and it's... I don't know. I just, I was like, it's a dollar, why not? And it's a library, a former library book, which doesn't matter to me, but I got it anyway. Don't know if I'm going to read it or not. And my last four books are the best finds I have ever found in Goodwill. Ever. To this day. I got Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Perfect condition. No marks. Doesn't look like anything's written in it. I am amazed. So I just hope that I like it and get around to reading it. Next two that I found is 
Vampire Academy, and the next book, Frostbite. So, I, I'm amazed to find these. I'm amazed. So, even if I don't read them, which I have a friend who has read these and says that they're amazing, so I'll hopefully try to read at least the first one, but if I don't read them, they're at least going to look amazing on the shelf. Look at that. And the last book that I found, which I said I was going to read this, but it was there. It was a dollar. I had to get it. I got Miss Peregrine's Song for Peculiar Children. I already talked about this book. Um... And by Rance and Riggs. So everybody's talking about this book. I don't know if you're going to like it, because if you know me, I don't like scary things. I don't like scary things, okay? <laughs> and it flips through. Some of the pictures are kind of scary. Some of them aren't. I don't... Uh, the, my friend told me, who's reading the book currently, said that the pictures have nothing to do with the story. Confused. So I'll have to read it and find out. I said I will try to read it. Very nervous, but still. So those are all of the books that I got at Goodwill. I got 11 books for just under $15. Take that, Barnes & Noble. So yeah, and this is just the beginning of my March haul. I will probably also have another March haul because there are still three books I need to get. Three. At least. So yeah. I'll let you know how my reading goes.